All right. All right. So, see this? See this? If I can just listen to this shit. Bone apple tea. Now. <clears throat> In the last episode, we... <clears throat> Can't go back in. Use this facility is currently experiencing a heightened security event. Accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase. Please speak. It's not the best choice. Error. Pass. Please. All right. Well, that wasn't right. I didn't realize I couldn't enter from this side. Where's the entrance? That's where I need to go anyway. So, right? Hold on. I need to go to the chem lab lower exterior. So hold on. Sprag Shack, Gorgon Ruins. Where is it? Chem lab upper? No. I need the chem lab lower exterior. Can I not go there now? Oh, I was at the OCI lower exterior. That's my problem. That's where I wanted to go. <clears throat> uh, in the last episode, we found out oh, that I believe that. Um, That was us finding out that Goodfellow was kind of like... Was that? Hold on. Okay, so, in the last episode, we helped the uh, crew of... I didn't catch their ship's name. Um, but a stranded crew here on Gorgon find a llama-shaped rock where they had a package waiting for them. Um, afterwards we found basically the in-between between just a drugged out Spacer's Choice employee and a Marauder. Like, the halfway between. It was, uh, probably Carl, I think is what his name was. Anyways, <clears throat> he was going absolutely wild. Like, holy shit, bro. He was on some crazy shit. Um, but then we also found out that this C mostly, Clarence mostly, I believe is his name, is alive. And he's on Byzantium. And he's missing his eye. And he's the man whose eye Lucky uh, left for us. I wonder if it was given willingly or if Lucky took it. Or maybe Lucky just found it. That's also a possibility. But yeah. First things for oh god. I thought. Did I? Wait, hold on. No. Oh wait, this is Okay, this is one of them. Oh shit! Whoa, 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 um, we could go to Byzantium first, but I kind of want to get a few of these phonographs. Probably not all of them. Tell me about Adrena time. What does it do? Hasn't Clarence already dumped a pile of promotional materials on your head? Where's the fun in that? My listeners want to hear it in normal words. 
It's an injectable drug that improves a patient's speed, awareness, mental acuity, and endurance. In moderation, Adrena Time will uplift the laboring classes by strengthening their minds and work ethic. That's quite the mission. What's driving this vision of uplift? I am a solutions-oriented woman. I see a problem, and I am moved to solve it. Poverty is one such problem. Through science, I believe we can improve the poor. And in so doing, improve Halcyon. <laughs> oh, I improve the poor! I think the poor need a little bit of improvement. You know, so they can be poor faster. There. So the other one is there. Perfect. Oh, it's a floor down. Apparently what I thought was the second floor is the third floor. Okay. That would explain why I didn't find it last time, because I didn't really check the second floor. This leads... Okay, listen. We're this way... Ah! Dude, I have so much fucking sprint ability. No. No. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. They'll probably just eat each other, I don't know. Oh! <sighs> Holy shit. He just got done taking the best shit in his life and we just ended it. Oh man. Oh man. That's cruelty. Uh, oh, wow, that is hard to miss. Or hard to see, actually. I mean, test, easy to miss. I assume you're trying new formulations on humans, correct? <sighs> Where did they come from, Dr. Ambrose? <clears throat> they come from Tartarus, don't they? They do. Why the reluctance? Providing life-affirming employment to the indigent the criminal, the criminally indigent. Well, that's a social good, don't you agree? I have a staff meeting to attend. Excuse me. Ooh, uh, reverse intruder definitions. Oh, now the robots won't wouldn't attack me. I have a staff meeting to attend. Excuse me. Oh, it paused it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. How do I get the fuck out of here, dude? I'm so lost. Doc, Vic, listen, don't look at me like that. <sighs> I, I love how I almost said called the vicar doctor, even though I could have just said doctor, because Ellie is a doctor. The sexiest pirate doctor in all of Halcyon. I'll have you know. Is out? Just... Oh, shit. oh my god, I'm lost. I'm lost, dude. Oh, it's not like I'm... I'm not going through this the first time, so I don't know which way I haven't gone or I came from. Okay, so not here. So, probably this way, right? No. Okay. So, this way. This leads out over here. And then maintenance goes up. And I want to go up. Me want up go. Up go good. Up is where I want to be. You know, right? Oh, there's a... Another... Oh, wait, no, that's just the door to lead out. 
Shit, hold on. Oh, I did it. I made it out. It, it took all my brain power, but I finally did it. Oh, wow. That's a maze, dude. Because once all the doors are open, right? You don't know which way you went. Maybe you should. Maybe I should close doors behind me. Okay, but there's one over here. I don't think I can get in there yet. Um, but there's also one over here. I don't know which that one is. So I'm going to start from the Gorgon landing path. Start making my way towards it. Oh, oh, oh. I think there's slightly less gravity here on Gorgon. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Can I even get up there? Oh, if I can't get up there, I might go to Byzantium. Or do one of the other quests. Oh! Weekend. Bam. Dude, I am a fucking queen. Sorry, Vicar. Alright, sweet. Dude, nine bullets really is, like, just what you need. Holy shit. You got a good gun? Nine bullets? That's all you need. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's... That's some good little environmental storytelling right there. You know? Elevator discovered, but I can't go in. Okay, so... I may have to go do a different quest. So, a dialogue between dead man, including the Gorgon Mines, maintenance entrance. Uh, there's also Jerome's flask that I can find. Um, let's go do that, actually. That sounds cool, especially since I've already gotten a little bit into this episode. It seems better to... Uh, oh, wow. What is my gun durability at? Oh, I need to repair that. Oh my god, I need to repair that. Um, it's better since this would probably be like a more concise, like quicker quest than going and finding all those different things. So that's why I'm going to do this first because that can fit it reasonably into this episode. I don't want to make things all wonky. Maybe next episode will be, like, part of a two-parter, but who knows. Um, alright, uh, repair. What the fuck was that? Junk. Junk, junk, junk. Alright, so... I'm back. Um, real quick, I uh, was looking at Vic, and you know, this is fully upgraded, but it only gives him six armor. This looks fantastic on him, and it gives him 22. I really like that look for Vicar Max. Um, yeah, I think that looks good on him. Hold on, I'm gonna tinker that, tinker with that, make it good. Oh, good. Damn. Hell yeah. He's not a glass cannon anymore. Look at him. That looks fucking... Hmm. That's really good. I like that look. Okay. So, now we have to go to Jerome's drinking spot. So we can find his flask. Um, oh, I think that's around... Long way.
Oh yeah, and I organized, well now that's not part of my inventory anymore, but so, oh wow, that's great, because now anything under these top two lines I know I can just send to junk if I need to. Um, but I got my talking gear, I put it at the back of the list because I more have to use like this stuff, this is my uh, long guns, uh, this is for if I'm doing pistol, um, makes sense because if I'm doing long guns I'm farther away, pistol I'm getting more close, I have well, better body armor, less head armor. Um, this is my stealth stuff, um, which I haven't put things in. I, I picked one of these up off of somebody, so that, that's cool, because I really like that with, like, even this, or just by itself. Like, I think that looks good, like the Hephaestus version, as opposed to the, uh, Spacer's Choice version. Sorry, I'm, I, I always just get excited when I find a good setup for my, uh, Oh, like I find the ideal setup for my inventory. It's so satisfying. I wish I could just... I guess I could go and do it myself, but it would be annoying. I could sort the uh, different... Um, consumables by what they do as opposed to their value or something like that. That would be really helpful. I can take a hint. All right. Well, we're going to switch to this. Look at that. That was quick. I'm trying to avoid, you know, staying in menus for too long, you know? Brought a fight on our hands. Because the more I'm in menus, the less entertaining that is for any of y'all. Bam! Bam! Oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> I, I misread that as Murder Colossus for a second! Uh. No! Vicar Max! You bastard! I won't let you hurt my Nakama! <laughs> My knock him off. Vicar Rex, that looks really good on him. You know, I, I was thinking of that for me, but, you know, sometimes when the shoe just fits, if the dress fits, you keep it. Alright. Day zero, ship just left. Law bless, for it. Law bless it for Lenora off this blasted rock. Etheridge called me a fool for giving her my ticket, but an Etheridge is a dumbass. So what? Is, uh, so what does he know? I'll I do it again in a second. From now on, my only goal is to is survival until Spacer's Choice name. Uh. From now on, my only goal is survival until Spacer's Choice comes back at for the rest of us. L, my heart, my I will find a way home to you. Day one. Some of us sheltered in the mines last night, taking turns, keeping watch. I don't mind to imagine... I don't mind to imagine what happened to the others who aren't there. I can hear marauders screaming in the hills. It's a little Adrena time today. Not much, just enough to stay alert. Lucky I did, or we wouldn't have heard those mantisaurs coming in. I'm to get the hell out of there. Going to search out a different cavern to shelter in tomorrow. Day three. Mine's not safe. Law, damn it. Shouldn't have gone in there in the first place. I think we were exposed to something in the air. Maybe. Day five. Most of us made it to the apartments. We're packed in here like Saltuna for now, but hopefully we can get a few more units barricaded and sealed up tight to make them safe so we can spread out just a little more. I went by L's in my old apartment while hunting for supplies and stashed the flash he gave me on the day we signed our marriage contract. Just in case something happens, she doesn't come looking. Maybe she'll find it. Even if she doesn't find, well... And some shiftless looter doesn't find it first. Carlson's been short with everyone today. Carlson! Most days, you could drop a 
land range on her foot and the woman would apologize for being in the way, but for a minute there, I really thought she was gonna stab Simon. Ambushed by marauders in the night. Had to use Adrena time again to keep awake. Sorry, Al. Didn't have much choice. Even with the Adrena time, I almost can't believe I outlasted them. Next time, maybe best not to think about it next time. Two slashes, day 15. So I guess that's denoting a time skip? I'm not sure. What those do. Starting to think we reach space. What? Starting to think we're spaced. Can't think like that. Gonna get back to you, Lenora, I swear. Miss you like breathing. Low on Adrian time. Gonna go look for more. L. Day 22. L. Just gotta get back to L. Day 34. Etheridge stole my mock apple. That void forsaken sprat sack. Wanna unzip his arms off and beat him with them. I could have met. I could. Could do it. He sleeps so weak and stupid. Stupid Etheridge. Day 42. Where in the system is Spacer's Choice? Where are those blasted ships they promised to send for us? Did they forget we're here? Makes a man wonder. All my loyalty and for what? Only loyal to L now. Maybe they abandoned us. It's on purpose. I know it. On purpose. They left us here to die. They left us here to die. If Etrich steals what's mine again, I'll end him. L. Day. Question mark. How long does it take to send help? How long? How long? Come back here and face us, you cowards. Spacers, cowards. Day, question mark, plus line. Feel sick. Be see crying to pick, pick picture in L's face. I, I can't anymore. Forgive me, L. Etheridge dead. Deserved it. Day, 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 Lee. No. Just this flask. The engraving reads, Jerome. Cheers to the beginning of forever. Love, Lenora. Smells of decent whiskey, cheap cologne, and old cigarettes. Got a new perk. Um, last stand when you're low health, you increase deal increased damage. Okay. Um, any subsequent attack made on the same target while in TTT deals increased damage. Hmm. I see. Wow, that seems really good. Oh, wow. Oh, they don't get a perk for some reason. Skills. Um, shit. Um, lockpick needs some fucking love. Holy shit, lockpick needs some love. Um, man. I don't want to go back to Lenora with this. I feel so bad. He fucking... Mm, I'm a sucker for people who just do things for the people that they love. Like, just are willing to just be like, no. No, I'm going to protect the thing I love, even if it kills me. Like, that shit. He was still hoping to get back to her. Till the end, that's so fucked up. That's so sad. That man loved his wife. 
Ooh. Dude, that is a hell of a fucking shortcut, let me tell you. Oh, this also makes my, uh, or is it my walking speed or my running speed? Maybe it's both. Um, this gear also makes my, uh, walk speed plus 10%, so. I don't jump as far. But. I run faster. And maybe my running speed isn't faster, maybe it's just my walking speed, but. I feel like it's my running speed, too. Well, let's go bring this to Lenora. Hey. What's on your mind? Nothing. You're heading downstairs? Order something sweet. Your thing. <laughs> you want me to get real drunk, don't you? <laughs> I love how I put most of my crew in, like... I love that there's good outfits that I feel okay putting my crew in. Because a lot of them, I guess, their clothes are just normal clothes in the game. Um, yep, let's go talk to Lenora. Oh! <laughs> yeah, let's put on... This outfit. Kind of like my serious attire. Lenora? You find anything out there, you let me know. I'm ready to get off this rock. I found Jerome's flask. That's it, all right. Law. Still smells like his whiskey, his cigarettes, and that awful cologne he bathed in every morning. Here. I saved up for this just in case I needed to go out into the ruins myself. Truth be told, I'm glad I never had to use it. You didn't happen to find anything else out there, did you? I found Jerome, and it looks like he died peacefully. Good, good. I should have been there for him. But I suppose he wanted to be alone in the end. Thank you for the flask. Jerome and I were supposed to live and die together. But sometimes fate has other plans. Time for me to get off this rock. Memories hang around here like a bad smell, and I could use some fresh air. This is what he wanted. Go live your life. No point dwelling on the past. That's what I think anyway. It may seem kinder to not burden people with the complete truth, Captain, but I do not believe that is truly the case. The vicar doesn't want me lying to her, but... <sighs> I couldn't tell her that. I couldn't tell her that. Your husband went crazy on drugs and then became a marauder and I've probably killed him since I've been here <laughs> who knows all the marauders I've killed I can't say that <sighs> oh that's sad dude that really got me that really fucking got me for some reason I don't know why um I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Next episode, I'm going to uh, try and find as many of these as I can. And if I can't find any of them, I'm going to go find Clarence mostly. Um, oh my god, UDL is like my enemy. Going there, they're going to be like, shoot on sight. I have to remember that. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. Share this video with someone you know. Ooh. And I will see you all from the next episode of The Outer Worlds. Peace.